one could argue that he's got an artistic license that he's using here and that it's just a song. But the problem is, as you go through the video, you'll you'll see he's he, he talks about motive, plan, opportunity. Hi, my name is Bruce Rivers. I'm a criminal defense lawyer in Minneapolis. I'm an expert in criminal law, and I'm going to be dissecting murder on my mind, Y N W Melly, and how he's looking at the death penalty. <laughs> Okay, in watching this video, Mr. Melly seems to be talking about things that he knows about. And he seems to be complaining, complaining about people who have caused him to be in jail. Now, what, what he does here in this video is he does a couple of things. He gives, number one, the motivation for why he's got murder on his mind because people are snitching on him and he's in jail, right? And then he also gives the method by which he seeks to exact revenge. This we call self-snitching. Mr. Melly um, is facing the death penalty and the prosecution is looking to use this video and his own words uh, as evidence against him. And when you have a case, a criminal case, the defendant's own words are what they call a statement of a party opponent. A party opponent is the state versus, in this case, Melly. And so your own words can be used against you in court. That's why everybody says you have the right to remain silent. Well, Melly should have taken that advice. Instead, he puts this video out here, and he shows you Glocks, Nines, and AK-47s. And in my estimation, this is perfectly good to use in court if they can link it up. The, one of the other tests is going to be whether it, the information is too prejudicial. Um, sometimes even relevant information is excluded because it's more prejudicial than probative. What that means is that it's so bad that it can't be used in court. But in this case, um, one could argue that he's got an artistic license that he's using here and that it's just a song. But the problem is, as you go through the video, you'll you'll see he's he, he talks about Motive, plan, opportunity. I got murder on my mind. I got murder on my mind. Yellow tape around his body. It's a fucking homicide. His face is on a t-shirt and his family's traumatized. I didn't even need a shooter. He just caught me by surprise. I reloaded my pistol, cocked it back and shot him twice his body. Now he says I didn't even mean to shoot him. He caught me by surprise. Well, when you look at that, um, that could be a manslaughter. So that could be defense and might actually help him. His body dropped down to the floor and he had to drop in his eyes. He grabbed me by my hands and said he was afraid to die. I told him it's too late, my 
my friend It's time to say goodbye And he died inside my arms Blood all on my shirt Wake up in the morning I got murder on my mind AK-47 Mac 11 Glocks and nines And all these pussy niggas Hating trying to knock me off my grind But I can't let them do it I got murder See, if you look at the refrain of the song Um We've got AK-47s, Mac-11 Glocks, and 9s. So we've got, if this guy was shot with any of those, basically the video corroborates, or the physical evidence is corroborated, corroborating the video, and that essentially makes it the video much more relevant. Murder on my mind, bitch, I got murder on my mind. Savage, no, he not no amateur. Uh, Savage, man, uh, answer. Uh, Fuck the on camera. Bitch, I'm a murderer. Yeah, yeah. I'm a dick kid. Now, the statement in the rap portion of this where he says, Bitch, I'm a murderer, is not good for him. I want to kill the boy. Make him up, say he won't be for your grill the boy. Uh, I'm bleeding so good, I might dip his ass in it and spill the boy. <laughs> murder on my mind. He says I got murder on my mind um, probably at least 20 times throughout this song, at least. And that accompanied with I'm a murderer really does not bode well for Mr. Melly. First of all, if I'm representing Mr. Melly, I would tell him, number one, keep your mouth shut. When you're sitting in, because he's sitting in jail probably with no bail or very high bail that he can't make. And so two things. Number one, do not talk to anybody else that's in custody, period. They're not your friends, um, and they're probably want, would love to snitch on a homicide. And number two, stay off the damn telephone. I can't tell you how many times I've had a case where I could probably win it, but it was ruined by the defendant because he was on the telephone talking about what he did or what he didn't do and how bullshit the case is. So my point in telling you this is your own words, your admissions, and there are plenty of admissions in this video to hang Mr. Melly. My advice to him is to go for a manslaughter, Keep your mouth shut and hope to live another day. Thank you.